Hello everyone. Welcome to children maths classes. So, till now I used to teach only maths, right? So, but I am making a new announcement that from now on even other subjects can be accessed through this channel. So, today I am going to explain class 8 NCERT geography chapter 1 resources. So, you must be familiar with what is what are resources means you must have at least heard that word right but you don't know the actual meaning of it and how is it related to geography so this is this there's the part 1 video and i'll just cover the introduction means till here till here to here but i'm telling you this will be a very good explanation so let's start Mona and Raju were helping Amma to clean their house. So Mona and Raju, they were two children. They are two children like us. They were helping Amma, their mother, to clean their house, and they told, "Look at all these things: clothes, utensils, food grains, combs, this bottle of honey, books." So, if you see. these are all resources why each of this has a use so this is also an important word said mona that is why they are important said amma these are resources so these are resources why because they have a uh, use and here there will be a definition what is a resource raju asked amma and amma told anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource if you want you can note these highlighted texts they are very important they tell you the gist of the chapter they tell you the gist of this video look around you and observe you will be able to identify many types of resources so this is the homework just tell me in the comments the resources you can see in your environment in your surroundings just comment them at least five okay they have already given the examples but you should think on your own and not take help of google okay and also not you should not tell these examples that is the water you drink yes you are quenching your thirst by this so it's also an important resource we are using that to satisfy our needs humans we humans take help of these resources to satisfy our need so anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource okay the electricity used in a house why we use electricity for many purposes right like we use for keeping ourselves cool keeping ourselves hot for by heater and also we can you, we use electricity for cooking use electricity for lighting so electricity we are using to satisfy our needs humans needs we satisfy our needs through resources so electricity in our house the rickshaw used to get home from school we use autos buses cycles bikes scooters these vehicles are also resources because we are using that as a mode of transport to commute from school to home or home to school so that that also has a use that also has a utility or usability and it has a value so it is a resource so a rickshaw an auto many source modes of transport also resources your father has prepared a tasty snack for you the fresh vegetables he has used are also a resource why are these vegetables also a resource here they have already given you the answer because your father has prepared a tasty snack so he has used this these vegetables to prepare a snack so it had a use right it has a use the use is to prepare any snack or anything any food item so it also has a use it also has a value so it is also they are also the vegetables and fruits are also a resource okay i hope you understood this means what are resources water electricity rickshaw vegetable and textbook you have something in common textbook we use that to read we use that to learn so you even uh, your phone a mobile phone is also a resource because you are using that to learn 
by seeing children math classes right okay they have all been used by you so they have utility so they have utility right utility or usability is what makes is what makes an object or a substance a resource so why why is it so because only when it has a utility or usability then only we can say that the substance or an object is a resource because without any usability without any use then how can it become a resource resource we are satisfying our needs through resources so it must have a use right so utility or usability is what makes an object or a substance a resource how does something become a resource raju now wanted to know amma told the children that things become resources only when they have a value things become resources only when they have a value only when they have a value when they have a use we are using them for to satisfy our need right so they must have a value so things become resources only when they have a value its use or utility gives it a value ultimately when there is utility then it must have a value so all resources have some sorry all resources have some value right these are important things i'm underlining i'm highlighting okay value means worth worth means you know like worthy worth means value some resources have economic value some do not economic means related to money related to financial financial okay for example metals may have an economic value because if we have a metal and we are you about to sell it we may get money right a beautiful landscape may not because we cannot sell it it does not have an economic value in the market in the society but we use both to satisfy our needs why we use beautiful landscape how can how can it be a resource we use landscape to just enjoy ourselves enjoy our time so we are using that even to satisfy our need right so it's also a resource okay some resources can become economically valuable with time this is very important thing because now your grandmother's home remedies remedies have no commercial value today yes they in your home there must be some your grandmother and she must have she must even advise us some home remedies if we fall ill or something like that it may not have commercial value economic value because see if we go to market and sell this if will anyone buy that because it's her own remedies right it has not been accepted widely by the whole society but if they are patented what is patent i will tell you what is patent it means the ex- exclusive right over any idea or invention if if and sold by a medical firm tomorrow means if the medical firm Uh, occupies the right exclusive right over any idea or invention here it's grandmother's remedies then they could become economically valuable right if a medical firm a medical industry so sells it then it will definitely become economically valuable right so time also can make resources economically valuable for example in the early time in the underground there was gold or silver right but was it economically valuable at the time it was not even a resource at the time because they didn't know the value of it they didn't know how to use it but now gold and silver is a resource so by through, when the time changes the some things or objects can become resources so did you understand this example this thing time and technology are two important factors that can change substances to this i already told time and change in substances to resources right i gave an examples of gold and silver right technology also so we don't yes without technology we cannot use resources why few resources because we are using water to 
make hydroelectricity right hydro power so if there is no technology for with us to do convert that to water into hydroelectricity then how can we use water as a resource right so even technology what is technology it is the application of latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things means we are advancing we are progressing so if we apply the latest knowledge and skill we have in our in ourselves in doing or making things new things we are inventing things so that is that is called as technology both are related to the needs of the people people themselves are the most important resource see people are also resources because only with our skill and knowledge we are able to make other resources right we'll go into deep in this topic in the later part of the chapter but now just understand the gist of it okay people themselves are the most important resource it is their ideas knowledge inventions and discoveries that led to the creation of more resources right if they have the ideas we have the ideas knowledge then only we can invent something we can discover something so for example now we have discovered we had discovered fire right and it ultimately led to the practice of cooking and fire also led to the practice of other processes like thermal energy etc and invention of wheel resulted in development of technology of transportation technology so ultimately because of us we are also an important resource because because of humans we are able to the new resources are formed new resources are invented or discovered the technology to create hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an important resource i already told this hydroelectricity hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an important resource so there is an energy in fast flowing water and with only our knowledge and skill we are able to make hydroelectricity with the, our technology knowledge skill idea we are able to create hydroelectricity from water okay from water here there is a beautiful uh, heart touching conversation so i am a resource to a very valuable one so ma- for mother uh, their child is the most important resource right yeah nevertheless so this activity is a homework okay circle those resources from amma's list that are regarded as having no commercial value means economical value no monetary value for them so this is the amma's list just underline or circle those which doesn't have any commercial value this is the homework and you can post that in comments okay so we will just continue this chapter in the next video that is the types of resources and that's all for today we have completed the part 1 the introduction of the chapter and i hope that you have understood the chapter very very well if you still have any doubts you can just ask in the comment section and i will be happy to help you out so thank you please subscribe to the channel for not only maths every subject this is a grand announcement charan maths classes is making almost every subject any subject you can find in this channel from now on i'll make videos not only in maths science social anything and maths obviously so thank you all have a good day